Hey viewers, today I'm going to show you how to repair strip threads in a derailleur hanger and the threads in this one are completely shot. It really doesn't hold on to the derailleur at all. Um, now if you have like a newer bike, like especially a mountain bike, you might have a replaceable uh, derailleur hanger like this. And they come a lot in different styles so you'd have to find one that uh, fits your bike. But all you'd have to do is remove the old one, pop the new one on and you're done. Uh, very easy fix. But a lot of bikes have uh, the derailleur hanger integrated into like the dropout into the frame so you can't do that um, in something like this uh, if you have like an expensive like collectible bike you might take it to a frame builder where they can remove the old dropout section and weld a uh, new dropout on there and you're all set uh, maybe paint it and everything like that but in most cases that's probably be uh, cost prohibitive to do now another idea is you could uh, take it to a welder, have them weld a little bit of additional uh, metal inside the hole there, drill it out and then tap it with a uh, M10 by one millimeter thread tap and now you have uh, nice new threads in there. Now what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use something called a dropout saver. These are come from uh, Wheels Manufacturing. I don't know if any other companies make them, but uh, what they look like is this and they come in a couple different sizes they come in a narrow size and a wide size uh, the narrow size is if the, the uh, derailleur hanger is seven millimeters uh, or less wide and the wide one is if they're seven millimeters or more wide so what we're going to do is we're going to drill this hole out and then this will fit in from the back and give me new threads there so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure my uh, derailleur hanger here for the width and that looks like it's about about six and a half millimeters. So I'm going to go with the uh, narrow uh, dropout saver there. So I want to drill out the old threads and make it a little bit wider for the uh, dropout saver to fit in. I'm going to use a 15 30 seconds inch drill bit and just drill straight down through there. And so now that I have my hole drilled out wider, I'm ready to install my dropout saver. So I can just go ahead and snap it into the back side there. And I'm ready to uh, mount my derailleur. So I just kind of fit that in there. And to screw it in, and it screws right into that dropout saver there. And so now I have my derailleur mounted. Okay, now this something to be aware of is this part does kind of protrude out to the inside of the derailleur hanger here and so it might possibly interfere with the smallest cog or the uh, chain there. Uh, it may not but if it does um, you might not uh, you might be able to uh, stick a spacer onto the axle there and uh, give it a little bit more spacing between the smallest cog and the inside of the dropout um, if that is an issue. So anyway, there's several different ways to uh, fix the strip threads in a derailleur hanger there. I uh, hope you found that useful or interesting. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click the little icon over there and you subscribe and see videos that come out. I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like that page. I post a lot of stuff over there. And I have a webpage, rjthebikeguy.com. Go over there, sign up for that page. I have my videos categorized and I have some forums over there. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.